What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, I sing and greet to. often forfeit over oh, needless pain we bear oh what peace we Everything to God in prayer. Oh, be called. We do not care. Everything to God. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? Have we tried and temptation? Is that trouble? Never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord. Our Father, uh, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, give us uh, this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt as we forgive those our debt to us. Uh, lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from all that sin and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Once again, O oh God, we come, Lord. And Father, we just want to tell you thank you. Thanking you, Lord, for your goodness, O oh God, and for your mercy. Thanking you for loving us in spite of all the wrong we have done. We give praise, honor, and glory to you, Father, for Jesus, who have made this relationship we have with you possible. And we thank him, O oh God, in making the ultimate sacrifice, O oh God, giving his life, that we will have the opportunity to life eternal. Oh God, thank you right now, oh God. Mm. Have mercy right now, oh mercy, God. Mercy. Please forgive us for our sins, oh God. Yes, have yes. mercy on the nation as a whole, Lord. All right. For we all have sinned and came short of your mm -hmm. glory. Mm -hmm. For we thank Jesus for paying our debt. All right. Now, all Lord, right. we ask that you bless us only you can, oh God. Yes, sir. Bless the nation, oh God. Continue to bless each of us according to our need, oh God. Mm -hmm. We have the sick, the shut in, the hungry, the homeless. Mm -hmm. We have motherless and fatherless children, oh all God. Right. We have the orphans and the widows, oh God. Yes. We have those behind please prison sir. walls, please oh God. Sir. Continue, oh God, to hold us in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand. Mm. For you are our comforter, you are our provider, you are our healer, you are our way maker, oh God. 
You give us joy that strengthens us and the peace that we don't understand. So we thank you right now, Lord. Now, Lord, we ask that you bless these candidates, oh Do God. It, Master. Continue, Master. oh God, to keep them in your care, oh God. Mm -hmm. Guide us in surrounding them, oh God, with your love, oh God. Yes. That they will be strengthened to continue mm -hmm. this race, oh God. Mm -hmm. Bless the one that's going to share today, oh God. Hallelujah. Continue to bless everyone under the sign of my weak voice, oh God. Keeping us mindful, Lord, to be all we can be, to do all we can be, mm -hmm. and give all the glory to you, Father. Bless new providence that we will be a light in oh, this community, yes, yes, oh God. That yes. when folks see us, they will see Jesus. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, and we give our praises to you. And Lord. it's in Jesus' holy name that glory we do pray. Amen. 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 Jesus, keep me near. The cross the precious fountain free to all thy once again we do come at this hour with thanksgiving in our heart we are ever so thankful amen for the lord giving us this opportunity to baptize this morning see all we can do is 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 preach and teach and label in the vineyard god gives the increase and it is by his will that he has seen fit to add to the church we are going to receive amen these new converts Amen. By water baptism. As we acknowledge God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To Sister and Brother Clergy, Deacon and Deacon S. Amen. To Amen. These candidates. Amen. To my wife and to each of you. We thank God for this opportunity. I'm going to read a, a, a passage. I want to give us a little lesson on, on water baptism. Um, and after that, we, we will continue with, with, the, with the services. I'm going to give us a lesson on water baptism. After that, I will open the doors of the church just in case there's somebody, amen, want to, want to receive Christ this morning. Anybody that wants to be baptized or anybody want to recommit or rededicate their lives, amen, to, to the master. I'm going to read a passage, some passages, amen, on water baptism. It's, it's a commentary on baptism that's been prepared by Dr. Bill Edge, and I'll be reading some of that commentary before, amen, you're hearing this morning. It deals with water baptism. Amen. Water baptism says, we are buried in the likeness of his death, raised up in the likeness of his resurrection. In Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 through 16, it says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized. He went up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and uh, alighting on him. And lo, 
a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That's Matthew gospel as he give us, amen, uh, uh, the baptism of Jesus. Jesus was, was 30 years old at the time of his baptism. He had walked, amen, before he was baptized, he had walked, amen, 72 miles, amen, all the way from Nazareth, amen, down to the Jordan River to be baptized. And of course, when he got, when he got to the Jordan River, John the Baptist was baptizing him. Jesus, amen, says to John, John, I've come for you to baptize me. So John says to Jesus, listen, I, I, I can't baptize you. I am baptizing for the remission of sin. Jesus had no sin. But Jesus said to John, go ahead and baptize me anyway in order that we might fulfill the scriptures that have been written of me. And of course, John takes Jesus into Jordan and, and baptizes him. And at the baptism of Jesus, amen, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit was present. Amen? Amen. John baptized him, and of course, when he come up out of the water, the heaven was open, and he heard a voice saying, this is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Um, in Galatian, in Galatian, chapter 3 and verse 26 and 27, Paul said, for we are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. With Christ. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16 says, For ye are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized unto Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. I'm sorry, I read the same thing. I read Galatians again. I should have been reading Mark. In Mark it says, And he said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved, and he that disbelieve shall be condemned. We take on Christ by baptism. And I'm going to read for you in just a minute. Amen. Amen. The meaning of baptism from the sixth chapter of Roman. But before I do that, amen, so that we don't be too long. Before I do that, I do want to open the doors of the church. This is when we extend invitation for Christian discipleship. As I said earlier, anybody want to come for baptism that have not already accepted Christ? Anybody want to recommit? Amen. You might come at this time as we just sang just a little. Amen. Amen. Same, Mamie. Mamie going to lead us in singing. Amen. Would you please stand to your feet? be seated just want to amen extend that invitation for Christian discipleship um, the Bible says whosoever will let him come I just want to do that just in case somebody wants to come water baptism is a biblical teaching it's a sacred practice of true Christians its importance is strongly illustrated through immersion the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ are always portrayed through the God-pleasing activity of baptism as we prepare now to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Um, Deacon, Deacon Black, would you, would you get the candidates and stand before me? And those that want to read along with us, we're going to read for these candidates. Uh, I need a deaconess. I need a deaconess, Miss, Miss, Miss Bryant. Amen. Would you get Sister Washington? Amen. Stand right before me. Turn this way, gentlemen. 
Face me this way. Uh, okay. I, I, they align just like I need them. I need, I need the female and then the smallest male in, in, in that order. And what I'm going to read now, I'm going to read from Romans chapter 6. This is the meaning of baptism. This is why we are being baptized on this day, on this day in Romans chapter 6. And I'm going to just begin reading that verse 1 and read a few of the following verses, and then we are going to be baptized. Um, I need to do one other thing before, before, I, before I baptize. When you're baptized because of where we are and, and we are in this, in this pandemic, I don't, I don't really want to cover your, your mouth with my hand, so I'm going to give each of you a handkerchief. And I would like for you to bring it. You may come get it, Sister Bryant. I would like for you to bring it to the, to the water when you come and when you get to the pool, may it's over. When you get to the pool, you will give it to me. Amen. Each of you, take take a handkerchief. Uh, bring it with you. Amen. To the water. When you get to the pool, when you come down the steps, give me the handkerchief. Amen. That I might, you, I, I'll, I'll ask you to uncover your mask for, for a brief moment, and I'll use the handkerchief. Amen. Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that, that grace may abide? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in a newness of life. For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Mm. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. That's 10 verses of the, of the amen, 6th chapter of Romans. Thank you so much. That's 10 verses. Now, what this says is that you have received Christ and because you have received Christ in, in the pardon of your sin, amen, you have died to your old life. You have died to your old life. And if you're dead, you know that, that when a person dies, he's buried. Baptism symbolizes you being dead and buried, amen, with Christ. It's just following the footsteps of Christ. We are burying you, only we are burying you in a liquid grave. But when you come up, amen, you should come up a new individual, a different attitude, a different walk, believing in the ways of Christ. Amen. And I encourage you, once this is over, and even you under the sign of my voice, if you get the opportunity, I, I pray that, amen, you will feel comfortable enough to read Romans chapter 6 and Matthew chapter 3 uh, for, the, for the baptism. Amen. We're going to the water. Amen. I want Miss, Miss Washington, and, and they align just, just as I want them to come to the water. Amen. 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 Deacon Bryant, you ready? Okay. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water.
Jesus Christ. Yeah. And because you've been obedient to his commandment, well, you're going to baptize you on the confession of your own faith. Yeah. You're going to baptize you in the name of the Father, yeah. in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, Lord. 
tempted to go down, amen, in the water this morning. No chili jar in it. It's not a prayer that, that God met us in the water so much so that he stirred up the water. That those who've been baptized will rise up out the water, amen, with a new look on life. Our Father in heaven, we thank you now. Thank you for, amen, your word and for your darling son. We thank you, son, for dying on the cross that we might be saved. We yeah. thank you, Master, for, amen, watching over us day in and day out. Allowing us to assemble ourselves for a water baptism. It's our prayer, Master, that these new converts will walk and live a new life according to your commandment. We thank you for adding them to the church. You added them as you see fit. And, Lord, we've done what you require of us to do. We've taken them down in old chili Jordan. And deliver them safely out of the war. And I thank you right now, Master. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank for you. just holding them in the hollow of your hand. Yes, and as they go yes. forward from this day, yes. Lord, you go with them. Teach them, Master, how to love mercy. Yes. How, amen, to do justly toward all men and walk humbly in your presence. Yes. Lord, bless us right now. right now. One by one, especially those who witness this baptism this morning. Yes, yes. Lord, let it be an uplift in their lives. Bless them another way. And then, Lord, when, hallelujah, we too got to walk down, amen, last mile of the way. Yes, Lord. Grant us an eternal resting place. Somewhere where Job said that we did receive some trouble and all of the weary could be at rest. Receive us into your kingdom. We yes, do pray Lord. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Now to him who labor to keep you from fault yes. and to present your faultless before the presence of his glory. To the only wise God, I will say to be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. And all the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Amen.